Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up. Start off with a story about the estate of Jimi Hendrix. It, it seems that they are suing a guitar uh, shop owner for uh, <laughs> an old acoustic Black Widow guitar that was allegedly used by Jimi. And it's valued at somewhere between $750,000 to a $1 million. So the estate is looking to have the guitar returned and seeking damages. Well, another uh, politician using another band's music and asked uh, to cease and desist doing that. Aerosmith's Dream On was being used by Donald Trump. Now, what makes this interesting is that Steven Tyler penned a pretty lengthy response to it as a reasoning why. Uh, he has nothing really against Trump. He thinks he's a you know, whatever kind of guy he is. But uh, basically, it has to do with the copyright infringement for artists and also basically up-and-coming artists and all these different kind of politicians, which is funny that politicians want to get put into place into power to tell us how to run our lives, yet they're not not really paying attention to the laws that are already in place. So uh, this is one of those interesting fights that are going to probably continue to develop over the uh, definitely during the whole presidential debates and runs and all that stuff. So as it continues to unfold, I'm sure I'll feel good about it. Now, sad news to report, another band made of Iggy Pops inside the Stooges passed away last weekend. Steve McKay, who was the saxophonist for the iconic band, uh, passed. Of course, last year we lost drummer Scott Ashton in 2009, guitarist Ron Ashton. And close out your weekly rock wind up with all the... All the new coming out. Uh, James Hetfield saying this week that they are working diligently on a new album to follow up to 2008's Death Magnetic. According to uh, drummer Lars Ulrich, they've already got like 20 new songs ready to go. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do a double disc album. I'm not sure. Uh, we came as Romans, Assassins, and Taproot members coming together to form Crucible. Uh, this looks pretty neat. I'm looking forward to this. November 7th, they will kick out a six-song EP. Of course, We Came as Romans. Going to be part of Freaker's Ball. Get your tickets now. Uh, Drowning Pool going to release Hallelujah in January on the 26th second via e1 music that's their new record label uh danzig finally giving us a date for his new covers album skeletons on november the 27th he's covering everybody from elvis presley to black sabbath aerosmith zz top uh the everly brothers as well just to name a few uh god smack solely earner saying that, he's gonna, that they're the band's gonna take a dramatic turn from what they're sounding like now they want to still be part of the uh the metal community but they're gonna go back to more of their roots Okay. And Corn. They're going to put out Corn, established 1994, a 300-page hardcover photo book on Tuesday, the 27th of this month. So if you're a fan of all things Corn, be on the lookout for that. Uh, they've got a, a, a deal with Pledge Music, $55 for the book or $90. That will include like a limited edition Leith, Lethro, Lethro, Lethro print, the band's debut album cover. There you go. I'm Nevin. Thank you very much for tuning in to Weekly Rock Windup. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is you do, whether it's the races, whether it's the games with, with the playoffs, or maybe if you're going to come check out my girl, Shake Her Booty, and a burlesque show, Alice vs. Ozzy, on Saturday night. Just putting that out there. Backside of Buffalo, backside of Westport Flea Market, Buffalo Room. Peace.